Have you ever woken up with a strong feeling from a dream, only to watch the details slip away like smoke? You know you were just somewhere else doing something incredible or strange, maybe flying over a city of glass or talking to a cat. You try to hold on to the story, but within minutes it vanishes, leaving only a faint echo. This nightly vanishing act is not a failure of memory, but a fascinating function of your brain. Think of it as a nightly cleaning service. Your brain decides what's important to keep and what can be discarded. The bizarre narratives of our dreams usually end up in the discard pile. Why does the brain create such vivid experiences, only to erase them almost immediately? The answer lies deep within the sleeping mind, where specific brain regions and chemicals work in a coordinated dance. During sleep, your brain actively changes its chemistry, switching off systems responsible for creating strong lasting memories. This is a feature, not a bug, of your sleep cycle. From ancient humans to modern scientists, we've all wondered, where do our dreams go? Understanding why dreams vanish is the first step in appreciating the incredible work your brain does every night. Next, we'll explore the science behind this vanishing act and reveal why forgetting dreams is essential for your health. Let's dive into the architecture of the sleeping brain and the elegant process behind dream forgetting. The mystery of our nightly stories is about to unfold. To understand why we forget dreams, we first need to know what they are and where they come from. Dreams are the stories and emotions our minds create while we sleep, a different kind of thinking than when we're awake. In dreams, logic takes a back seat, and creativity and emotion take over. This is because the prefrontal cortex, responsible for logic, rests during sleep, allowing a more fluid emotional consciousness. Most vivid dreams occur during REM sleep, rapid eye movement, when the brain is almost as active as when awake. During REM, your body is paralyzed, a safety feature to prevent acting out your dreams. The brain is busy processing emotions and memories, weaving them into strange narratives. REM sleep is sometimes called paradoxical sleep. Your brain is awake, but your body is asleep. Dreams are not random noise. They're the product of an organized, active brain state. This nightly theater helps us process feelings and store important information. Knowing that dreams arise from this crucial stage explains why they feel so real, and why their disappearance is so puzzling. The nature of REM sleep is the starting point for understanding dream forgetting. Our journey into the science of dreams begins with this unique brain state. Let's see how the brain's architecture shapes what we remember, and what we lose. The mystery deepens as we look closer at the brain's memory systems. The hippocampus is the brain's memory gatekeeper, responsible for turning experiences into long-term memories. During the day, it acts like a librarian, saving new information for later. But during REM sleep, the hippocampus changes roles. Instead of recording new experiences, it reviews and sorts memories from the day. Communication between the hippocampus and the cortex weakens, so dream stories aren't stored as lasting memories. The brain's priority is memory consolidation, not recording the bizarre narratives of dreams. Dreams are more like byproducts of this internal sorting process. The hippocampus is busy with critical tasks for learning and well-being, not documenting the dream show. Imagine your brain as a writer who puts down the pen at night. Dreams are daydreams, not written into the notebook. Because the hippocampus isn't in record mode, dreams fade quickly once the sorting is done. This deliberate shift ensures only important waking memories are kept. The dream is the show but the hippocampus isn't recording the performance. There's also a chemical reason why dreams are so hard to remember. Norepinephrine. When awake, norepinephrine keeps you alert and helps form strong memories. But during REM sleep, the brain supply of norepinephrine drops to nearly zero. This creates a mental environment not suited for encoding new memories. Think of norepinephrine as the ink in your memory pen. During REM, the pen runs dry. You can still experience dreams, but you're not writing them down. This chemical shutdown is intentional, allowing the brain to process emotions without stress. The side effect? Poor memory creation for dreams. The same state that helps you heal emotionally prevents you from remembering your wild dream stories. Your brain chooses emotional processing over dream recording. The absence of norepinephrine is a key reason dreams vanish so quickly. It's a trade-off. Emotional healing at the cost of dream recall. This chemical balance is essential for mental health. Dreams fade fast, often within minutes of waking. If you wake during REM, you might recall a vivid dream but wait 5 minutes and most details are gone. As you wake, brain chemistry shifts instantly. Norepinephrine surges, the hippocampus records new info, and your logical brain takes over. The real world floods your senses, drowning out fragile dream memories. 
competing thoughts and sensations quickly overwrite the dream. The window to remember is tiny, just a few groggy moments after waking. If you focus on the dream right away, you might save a fragment. Delay, and the dream is lost to the rush of waking life. Our morning routines are dream erasers. The alarm rings and your mind shifts to action turning off the noise, thinking about the day ahead. Each task getting up brushing teeth making coffee requires attention pushing dream memories aside. Logical goal-oriented thinking takes over making it hard to value or recall the bizarre logic of dreams. The rational brain discards dream fragments as irrelevant. To remember dreams, you need to pause before jumping into your routine. A moment of stillness gives your brain a chance to hold on to the dream. Prioritizing recall, even briefly, can make all the difference. You can train your mind to remember more dreams. The best tool? A dream journal by your bed. Writing down dreams signals to your brain that they matter. When you wake, stay still and keep your eyes closed. Try to recall the last scene or feeling. Don't force it. Let fragments surface naturally. Write down anything you remember no matter how small or strange. Even a single word can unlock more memories. Recording details builds momentum and helps retrieve more of the dream. Good sleep hygiene is also key. Get enough REM sleep by aiming for 7 to 9 hours. Avoid caffeine, alcohol, and screens before bed. A consistent sleep schedule supports healthy dreaming and recall. A well-rested brain is better at remembering your nightly adventures. Even when we remember dreams, describing them is tough. During REM sleep, emotional centers are active but language centers are less engaged. You feel powerful emotions but words are hard to find. The amygdala drives intense feelings, while logic and language take a back seat. When you wake you must translate raw, illogical experiences into structured language. Our words are built for waking reality, not surreal dreamscapes. Dream journals help bridge this gap, encouraging you to find words for strange images and feelings. Writing is a form of translation between dream logic and waking logic. This challenge makes dream exploration rewarding and expands your descriptive abilities. It's a creative exercise in connecting with your emotional mind. Why do we dream at all? Science offers several theories. One idea, dreams are overnight therapy, helping us process emotions in a low-stress environment. This, sleep-to-forget, sleep-to-remember model separates emotion from experience, aiding emotional balance. Another theory dreams are creative problem-solving, letting the brain make connections it wouldn't while awake. Famous breakthroughs like Kakuli's benzene ring have come from dreams. Some scientists believe dreams simulate threats, rehearsing survival strategies in a safe space, Common dream themes, being chased, falling, reflect this ancient rehearsal. Whatever the purpose, dreaming is a sign of a healthy, active brain. The mystery of dreams continues to inspire science and imagination. Forgetting dreams isn't a flaw, it's a sign of your brain's efficiency. Your mind has nightly tasks, cleaning, consolidating memories, and regulating emotions. Recording every surreal story isn't a priority. The dream is part of the process, not the final product. So don't be frustrated when dreams slip away. Appreciate the hidden work your brain is doing. The few dreams you remember are special glimpses into your creative mind. With a notebook, a moment of stillness, and good sleep, you can catch more of these stories. Remembering dreams can spark creativity and self-reflection. Whether you recall them or not, dreams are a nightly gift from your brain. Tonight, as you sleep, know your mind is embarking on another incredible journey.